Scotty and Goss for breakfast, powered by Kubota for over 40 years. We've been making tomorrow matter, shaping and building Australia together. A bit of peppers. A bit of chilli peppers. A bit of chilli peppers. <laughs> Why do you think so? Well, because um, there's a new nickname of our new recruit at the mighty Perth Wildcats, and aren't we excited about it? We certainly are. SENWA Breakfast, and our next guest, well, he's, he's joining us because uh, Elijah may not know this. Well, he might know this. Is Elijah Pepper is our guest. He's sitting in his car in the States as we speak at the moment. He's the new recruit for the Perth Wildcats. Elijah, this radio station that you're on owns the Perth Wildcats <laughs> basketball team. So whatever you say and whatever we say, we say it together. Welcome to the show. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you having me. Ah, fantastic. Hey, mate, um, you're an Aussie, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I was born there, but I ha- I have the uh, the American accent as well. I wish I had the Australian accent. So mate, how did this all come about? I mean, you played superstar in college basketball, Big West Player of the Year, averaging twenty three points, rebounds. You're a three point ace. You broke all time scoring records at UC Davis. All of that sort of stuff. There's plenty to like about your numbers. How did you come about to joining the Perth Wildcats? How did this all get started? Yeah, absolutely. So I have I actually had a, a previous relationship with uh, Coach Really. Uh, he recruited me, went back when he was a college coach, and then I ended up going to the school where we play against each other. So he main, maintained a relationship with not only myself, but uh, my family as well. And then last year when I declared for the NBA draft, he reached out and was like, hey, I'm, we're, I'm the coach at Perth. Like, we'd love to have you out here and at least get a conversation started if the NBA it doesn't happen. So... Coming into this next year, he reached back out and we just kept that conversation going and decided that it'd be a be a great fit. Wow. Well, we love JR here. We we're massive fans of him and I could listen to him all day. But when you make a decision like this, Elijah, when you make a decision to move to the other side of the world, yeah, you're born here, you left when you were four, but what's the biggest factor? Is it is it championships? Is it the relationship with the coach or is it the possibility of being drafted through Australia because you know, there are so many Australians now that are are putting their hand up for the NBA draft. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a mix of all three. Like I, I want to come and play and, and make money while playing. But a big thing for me is just maintaining and having a good relationship. And that's kind of what put Perth above the rest is that I have that relationship with JR previously. So there's that comfort, that comfortability to be able to, to play and kind of know somebody being on the other side of the world. Oh man, we can't wait to see you here. When when you, you nominate for the draft. Do you, do you have you spoken to NBA clubs and what is their opinion of the Perth Wildcats and I guess the NBL at the moment because it's as strong as it's ever been. So, yeah, absolutely. I've heard. I've only heard great things about not only Perth but the NBA as a whole. I'm hearing that it's. I mean, outside of the NBA, it's a top two league in the world with uh, the European League and then here NBL. So those are both great leagues, and then. Uh, relations like speaking to NBA wise and stuff like that conversations haven't necessarily started. So I'm hoping to have some workouts and stuff like that, but that those won't happen until middle of May probably. So we still got a little bit of time. Tell us about it. Tell us a bit about Davis, the, the college that you went to at UC Davis, not one of the biggest ones and you had opportunities to go to bigger colleges, but you decided to stay there. Can I ask you why? Yeah, definitely. I mean, first off it's, it's probably one of the, it's top five public school in the nation. So you get a, you get a degree from UC Davis. You you have a good job after basketball. Basketball doesn't last forever. So that, I mean, that was the first off. Second off was coach Les and uh, the rest of the coaching staff. They've always believed in me. They're one of the first coaches to, to recruit me out of high school. And then they never missed an AAU game. So they, at the end of the season, we talked about it and there was one thing left, which was winning a big West championship. And unfortunately we lost in the championship game this year, but, I, I was proud to be a part of the uh, the UC Davis Aggies and be with somebody who believed in me like they did. What do you know about the Wildcats, Elijah? Have you seen much? Have you seen any tape? Or did JR send you vision of what, what he's trying to do and what the Wildcats have done, especially the season just gone? So, yeah, I mean, I know they finished, uh, I believe, second this last year, and they have a great uh, historic team. So, But JR, he sent me a little bit of tape. We've gone over some stuff, and we're gonna, we'll keep going over it. But, uh, yeah, he's, I've, I know a little bit about the history, and I know there was a pretty good season last year, but fell a little bit short. So hopefully we're able to 
to get it back up to that championship. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're certainly a, a, a player that uh, everyone's excited about seeing. Alex Saar, who is tipped to go in the top couple in the NBA draft, made a big oh, impact yeah. here. Fantastic stuff. And Bryce Cotton, he's the king of Perth. I mean, we have our footy, we have our cricket, we have all sorts of things here. But if you're talking about <laughs> elite sportsmen, it is a basketballer. It's Bryce Cotton. What do you know about him? I mean, I know he's probably one of the, the greatest basketballers in Australia. He, I mean, he's the leading scorer, MVP. Uh, I, I know that's that's somebody great to, to learn and play behind as well. If that was to happen, I'm going to hopefully learn a lot of things from him, and I look forward to playing with him. What are you going to bring, mate? What are we, what's the Red Army? We're known as the Red Army. We pack the, uh, the stadium, 13,000 every game. What are you bringing? <laughs> I mean, outside, I'm a great shooter. I like to think I'm a great shooter. I, I, I love to shoot those threes from anywhere on the court. But, I mean, just effort, hustle, hard work, That's those are the things I pride myself on. And so, I mean, that's that's what's going to help win games, and I think that that's what I'm going to bring for sure. Well, it would be good because four of the uh, opposition go to Bryce all the time. So if you can just find yourself free, mate, you got to get some good looks. Oh, yeah. I mean, I <laughs> – I know he's got all the eyes on him, so I mean anything to help help the team win. I'm sure I'm sure that'll be great. Hey, don't want to put a downer on it for Perth Wildcats fans, but you oh. do have out clauses, don't you? Like if you get picked up by an NBA team, that's your objective. That's where you want to be. That's that's sort of how your contract looks at. Where are you now? Are you about to go to a shootout or a shoot out? No, shoot out. Oh, my God. Shoot out. No, <laughs> way. <laughs> no sorry. Say that. You get it? Oh, no, what about that? Are you going to go to a shoot around? Are you still working hard at your game right now? Are you, you know, and, and, and when do we expect to see you in Perth if that comes about? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm I'm here in Davis until end of June. I got I have I'm working out here with the team still. I'm graduating here, so they're I mean they're treating me as like I'm still part of the team going into next year. And then I could start workouts, I believe, end of May with NBA teams. So they'll uh they'll talk to my agent and we'll figure out a couple times to hopefully go out there, work out, and then goal would be to play in summer league and kinda I'd maybe work my way up. But I'm excited still to to go to Perth. I'm actually looking forward to it a lot. Either way. It's a it's a great opportunity. What degree you're walking out with, mate? Uh, sociology, law, and society. Uh, what uh, sociology? What law? Law, law and so- society. So wow. yeah, it'd be it, any something in the law enforcement is kind of what I'm looking at. My dad is actually a, a police officer, so look forward to kind of following his footsteps. Hopefully. Your old man, Ryan, played for the Hobart Chargers as a professional basketballer, and we know that Tassie, the Tasmania Jack Jumpers, won the title in just their third year in the competition. Quite remarkable. And Scott Roth, who's got NBA written all over him, was their coach. I mean, obviously, that has certainly – that news has come through. I bet your dad was pretty pumped that good old little Tassie took out the title. So, yeah, he was he was all excited. He, bring, he brings – he knows more Australian basketball than anybody. So that, that dude, he'll – he was talking about it to my mom all the time and stuff like that. They love it. <laughs> what do you know about Perth? Uh, I mean, I've I've not heard a ton, but I know it's a great it's a great place to be. I know it's the capital, so I mean, I'm looking forward to exploring a new part of the world. Uh, I did hear that there's a lot of sharks there. Nah, don't so, worry. Don't, <laughs> they're only in the water. Yeah, don't worry about it. If you don't go in the water, not in the fall. local I swimming. Told, not, I was told to be careful of all the beaches. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Best, best beaches in the world, mate. But just make sure you're not the furthest out swimming. That's it. You just make sure there's someone further <laughs> out swimming than you and you'll be fine. It can get pretty hot. Uh, we're that's pretty remote. There's lots of flights. I mean, uh, Alex Sarr could not believe how long the plane flights to other games and other parts of Australia were. So you've got to be... Uh, you got to be patient on a plane, so uh, we're looking forward to yeah, it. I did. I did hear that. I did hear that it's basically super isolated from the rest of the big Australian cities. <laughs> that's exactly right, and that's the yeah. way we like it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you right. Hey, mate, uh, we can't wait. We cannot wait. We appreciate it. So, uh, can you play for the Boomers? So uh, I believe I can. So I, I I don't know how that all works out. Um, hopefully that could be something that happens later in my career, but. We'll have to see. Can we six-pointer him, guys? Yeah, let's six-pointer him. All right. Yeah. Elijah Pepper is our guest. Now, Elijah, Scotty asks our normally our football guests six questions, quick-fire questions. You've got to shoot straight from the cuff. Uh, no uh, time to think, and you can't pass. Are you, right? Are you up for the challenge? All right, let's do it. All right, All right mate. Other than basketball, name your favourite sport and athlete. Uh, American football and Tom Brady. Yeah, he... You can't go past him, can you? Hey, you open your own restaurant, right? You're coming to Perth. 
You open your own restaurant. What's going to be the signature dish that has us all lining up out the door to get our hands on? It's got to be hot pepper wings. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hot pepper yeah, wings. Yeah, I think that's what the restaurant's called too. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a fortune just on my own. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. What song gets you up and about, Elijah? If you're going in pre-game and you just need a tune to get you all fired up, what is it? Oh, gosh. Uh I don't have a specific song. It'd be anything. I actually like slower songs. Oh. So anything R&B or slow rap is is my type of thing. Okay. Nothing specific, though. He's a man after my own heart. Hey, well, just, you want to just tell our producer out here, slow rap, but make sure you listen to it first. No swear words. It, no right? explicit stuff in it, right? Yeah. Okay. No slow rap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll skip the one because we tell us something we don't know about one of your teammates because we don't know any of his teammates and, and it's not going to be that interesting. He's, he's, so. He knows more about his teammates than we know about yeah, his teammates at the moment. Hey, um, yeah, got any secret talents, Elijah? Anything other than basketball that you're really good at? Uh, I'm I'm pretty good at video games. I I'm kind of the guy that's known to to do well for everybody and keep the team going. But that, I mean, that's about as far as my talents go. You're not one of those blokes that sits here with the headphones on in a so like a race <laughs> car chair with a couple of screens in front of you and. No, 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 not that, not that much. Okay, you, like, I'm not, I'm not that fancy. <laughs> PS5 or an Xbox sort of guy. Uh, Xbox. There we go. Nice. There we go. Nice. Just thought I'd get that in there. Hey, uh, and what makes you way more angry than it should? Something little that just really grinds your gears. Ah, uh, I mean, to, losing. First of all, I hate losing, but Good. not seeing somebody try their hardest is just like in anything. That just, it, that just makes me really angry about it. So you, you'll call them out? That's the sort of teammate that you are, that you'll grab a teammate and say, oi, you need to lift because we're struggling yeah, without I, you? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. If I see somebody going 50, 75%, I'm the type of guy that's going to mention it and say something to you. I like it. Keeps them accountable. Have you ever played with an old bloke? Like a really old guy? Like, So we got a guy at place oh, the Wildcats. You, he's the captain. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, why are you trying to retire this So, so this time? guy called Jesse Wagstaff, right? He's, he's played. So, he's played. He's played. This is about his seventeenth year. He's he's the he's the lifeblood. He's the temperature of the team. He is a war horse. He's the most winningest player. He's played more games than anyone. He's an absolute star. Um, I did see he's like ten games away from the record, right? Yes. So yeah, I did. I did see that. I know who you're talking about. He's old, mate. <laughs> so I haven't. I don't think I played with anybody that's older than like twenty three or twenty four. <laughs> He could be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> he's a star, and there's you love him. As Goss said, he's a, he's an absolute warhorse and uh, highly, hugely respected by all of us over here. Jesse so Wagstaff, uh, mate. It's Bryce Cotton, Jesse Wagstaff, and the rest. You can just play with them. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, morning to Taj oh. and Jordan and yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Keanu. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Keanu Pinder goes good. Oh, hey, mate. Geez. Appreciate your time. Uh, we know you got to get into college. Thanks for joining us. We cannot wait. You hit the headlines. Uh, it's massive on socials that you come in Perth. Wildcats fans are incredibly lucky, and we'll love to have you in the studio when you arrive here in Perth. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. I'm really excited. Good on you, mate. There he is, Elijah Pepper, born in Aussie. Here's a bit of slow rap for you, right? Elijah. <laughs> have a good day. Yeah, yeah, something, something, like, day. something like that. Here we go. I always find something wrong. You've been putting up with my just way too long. Hey, Elijah, I'm before so you go, what I don't like the what's your nickname? Uh, a lot of, I mean, Eli's the basic stuff, but a lot of a lot of the guys call me Pep. 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 All right, we'll go with Pep. Pep or Eli, all right. And I'm sure we'll think or of Chili, something else. Chili or Doctor. Or, come, come on, you can... Goss calls all the games, mate, so uh, be nice to him because he'll give you a really complimentary call when, you, uh, when you're out on court. Oh, with sound, sounds good to me. I'll make sure I'm, I'm extra respectful. <laughs> Don't, don't. <laughs> See you, mate. Good on you. There he is. See you guys. Thank you very much. There's Pep. Uh, or no, I know. I call him Eli. Anyway, oh, there he is. There. Pep. All right, then. Uh, thank you, Jonesy, for your text. He's got to go to college. He's gone. Look at him. He's just hung up. Uh, there's some uh, bit of soft, um, what is this called? Soft rap. That's it. Right, yeah. Uh.